guys, welcome back to the channel. Right now I am going to watch the Children in Need special from 2005 that everyone told me that I should watch before I start David Tennant. And I'm going to start the first episode, or the Christmas special, with David Tennant. The first episode featuring David Tennant as the Doctor. It's been a month. I, I'm so still very sad about Christopher, but I think I've given myself enough time to like, you know, not be living in it so much. And I've, I've gotten away from from the uh, heaviness of the emotions. Um, and I'm I think I'm ready. I think I'm ready. I, I would I like a year. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but at the same time, uh, I'm a big girl and I got my big girl panties on. Sorry, Dad. Uh, so I'm going to watch this uh, this Children in Need special. It kind of sounds like it's a telethon, but I don't think that's what it is. I think it's just an explanation as of, like, regeneration, maybe, because I was very confused on that because, uh, well, not confused. I just didn't like it. I didn't like it. I didn't like that one minute it's Christopher Eccleston. One minute. <laughs> one second is Christopher Eccleston, and then it's David Tennant, who I like David Tennant perfectly fine. I think anything that he's been in, I've absolutely loved. Again, I keep saying that I didn't really dig his character in, in Harry Potter, although I did in Jessica Jones. It's I, I know that he was a villain in Jessica Jones, but he did amazing. So much, in fact, that I forgot it was David Tennant until Xander mentioned it to me. I was like, oh, yeah. So um, I, I know I'm going to like him. Um, but I feel like, like just being like, boom, okay, this is your new doctor was a lot for me. It's a lot to see somebody that you care about just go poof and it's somebody new who's licking his teeth and is, has apparently maybe has all of the doctor's memories maybe because like they, he brought up Barcelona, the planet not necessarily the city. Um, so like he knew about Barcelona and, and I'm, I'm wondering if it's just, I have to relax. My shoulders are like really tight. It's, it's Doctor Who. This should be fun. But uh, I don't know if it's just like memories. If he just like knows about the person he used to be and now he's a new person. You know what I mean? Like if he has somebody else's memories and now he has his own. Uh, like, I don't know. And like, how did we pick this form? Like, like why David Tennant? <laughs> Probably because he's awesome. But like, 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 why? 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 Okay, so guys, I'm gonna watch this and then I'm gonna get into the uh, Christmas special. So let's go. I don't really need to watch this again. <laughs> I love you, Christopher. Yeah, at the time I didn't like that, but I think I don't mind it so much now. He's kidding me. I think you need a doctor. <laughs> that line is so cheesy. Oh god. Oh. Hello. Okay. Mm. New teeth. <laughs> don't cry oh my god you've had one sip of wine don't cry oh rude okay we still at least get rose Six I know I'm gonna love him Tuesday, I know I will October 5006? Yeah, same what Rose. What do I look like? No, 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 no. Don't Still wearing the jacket, legs. too. Legs, two arms. Hair! I'm not bald. Ooh, <laughs> sideburns. I've got sideburns. Oh, really bad skin. <laughs> really bad skin? I have got a mole. I can feel it. A mole? A mole. I don't need to see it. That's Love the mole. Go on then, tell me. Nice to meet you, mole. What do you mean? Sorry. A little Austin Powers for you guys. Who are you? I'm the doctor. Yeah, exactly. Where's the doctor? What have you done to him? Same. Someone That's how I changed. feel right now. Right in front of you. It's like when your dad shapes off his mustache. It's very upsetting. Oh my god, are you Slovene? No. I'm not a Slovene. 
Please back. don't unzip your forehead. Please don't. I'm warning you. <laughs> Send the doctor back right now. Rose, it's me. It's honestly, it's me. You can't be. Then how can I remember? Same this? girl. Oh my god, I'm gonna cry. The very first word I ever said to you. I took your hand. You said run. I said one word. Run. Yeah. Hello. And we never stopped, did we? All across the universe. The TARDIS looks different. Can you change back? Do you want me to? Yeah. Oh. Yes. Can you? No. I knew he couldn't. I don't know why I was so disappointed. Your choice. If you want to go home. Well, I thought we were going to Barcelona. Barcelona. No, no, no. But change to still go to Barcelona. London, the so Powell Estate. Let's say 24th December. Consider it a Christmas present. <sighs> Going up. Up to you. Back to your mum. Fish and chips, sausage and mash, beans on toast. No, Christmas, turkey. Although, having met your mother, nut loaf would be more appropriate. <laughs> Is that a smile? <laughs> that was a smile. It was a smile. A smile. Mm -hmm. Oh, come on. All I did was change. I didn't... Oh. What was that? Uh oh. Can you not say it? What's that? The change is going a bit wrong. Oh. Oh, oh, but what, what's going wrong about it, though? Maybe we should go back. Let's go and find Captain Jack. We know what to do. Ah, he's busy. He's got plenty to do rebuilding the Earth. Oh, then we left Captain Jack to rebuild the Earth. I love that. He'll make it sexy. Okay, this whole time I did not realize that he was trying to say faster. I thought he was trying to say the F word. You're gonna kill us! Hold on tight, here we go! This is easy. Oh, okay, another another beginning. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, we're returning the Christmas invasion. Uh, okay. Well, that didn't make me feel any better about it, if it was supposed to. That's that's not what it did. Okay, well, now that we've gotten through that, um, yeah, I still don't feel okay about it, but here we are. Apparently, we need to go faster, <laughs> and it's Christmas Eve, which is uh, uh, one of my favorite days of the entire year. So, guys, um... Onward. Oh! Already starting out with nice scary music. We back, baby. We back. He said London, right? Did he say a year? So, like, just home for her? Jackie! So good to see you. And I really mean it. She's coming back. This is so hard on the companions, families, and I'd say friends and Mickey, but I don't know if Mickey is still going to be a thing. Hey! Okay, we do get Mickey. What, can you hear a TARDIS? You're still waiting around for her? And Jackie. They know the sound! That's so amazing! But they're gonna meet the new doctor and they're gonna be like, Who are you? Oh my gosh, how far... How long did it take for them to like... To, could you not hit everything? Why is it traveling like this? Why is it just not reappearing and disappearing? Whooshy whooshy thingy. Here we are then. London! Ah. Jackie! Ricky! Blimey! No, 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 no. Hold on. It's Ricky. We're there. What's gonna say? Something I have to tell you. Something important. What was it? No, hold on. Merry hold Christmas. On. Hold on. <laughs> Merry Christmas. There it is. Oh God. Why is Rose coming out so late? That's the doctor. What do you mean that's the doctor? Doctor Who? Exactly. Do we always get to start out like a new doctor with somebody going Doctor Who? <laughs> All right. All right, I, I, I at least feel somewhat at home. I've got 
I was gonna say my favorites, Jackie, Mickey? Who knew? But, no, oh, there it is again, David Tennant. Ugh, feels icky. Feels like I'm wearing another person's skin. How Slitheen of me. Well, he has to have two hearts, right? Mm-hmm. And go to the other side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Both working. What do you mean, both? <laughs> oh, yeah, Jackie doesn't know. Oh, don't be stupid. Yes. <laughs> Anything else he's got to off? Leave him alone. Jackie. I would be curious, too, though. I, I'd, I'd, I'd want to scope out the alien. <laughs> what, what is happening with this vortex breath? It looks like magic. Probably smells like onions. Singing out a bag of oranges. Is that Harriet Jones? Oh. Her, is she Prime Minister? Prime Minister now. The unmanned probe Guinevere 1 is about to make its final descent. Photographs of the Martian landscape should be received by midnight tonight. I was like, what's. That's really quick. So is that what the invasion is? Actual Martians? Oh! Ran it to, I was saying asteroid, but that is a ship. What the hell was that? Okay, the masks are creepy. I don't like it. Don't make me hate Santa. Are they guns? Yeah, or flamethrowers. <laughs> Man, Rose, you come home and, like, Mickey's life's in danger yet again. Where'd you get that tree? Uh oh. That's a new tree. Where'd you get it? Oh, I thought it was you. How can it be me? Is it the time vortex? Is it changing things? Or is it the Santa Clauses? <laughs> With the flamethrowers? Oh, you're kidding Ooh. me. Eh. Well, that looks dangerous. It, it It's a Christmas tree tornado buzz saw. Also looks like it could work in a car wash. Oh, screwdriver! Yeah, 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 yeah! Oh, can only the doctor use it? She can't use it? Help me. Thank you! Gonna go back to bed. Remote control. But who's controlling it? Oh, good question. I didn't realize he was gonna get out of bed. <laughs> That's them. What are they? Who are they? Not what? <laughs> I'm gonna be like, Wingardium Liviosa! Pilot fish. What? Pilot fish? They were just pilot fish. What does that mean? What is going on with you? The pilot fish. Uh huh. The pilot fish mean something. Something. Yeah? Spit it out! Something is coming. Oh. <laughs> but probably the big rock that the satellite bumped into. So does he just have to, like, get over a sickness? That's our introdu introduction to David Tennant, is him being ickies? He's gonna be all sweaty with bronchitis that comes out as a time vortex? Funny sort of rocks. That's not rocks. Coming live from the depths of space. Yeah. Ha! <laughs> of an alien life form was transmitted live tonight on BBC One. On the 25th of December. All right. Merry Christmas. Much scarier than the Slitheen. Are we going to get Harriet Jones? Oh, I was going to be like, hey, girl. Mr. Llewellyn. Mark. Hey! Harriet Jones, Prime Minister. Well, I'm <laughs> who you are. 
Alex is my right hand man. I'm not used to having a right hand man. I quite like it though. I like it myself. I, I don't suppose there was any <laughs> chance it was a hoax. That would be nice. Then we could all go home. Yeah, you wouldn't be here. But, but if they're not from the surface, then they might not be from Mars itself. Maybe Correct. they're actual Martians. Of course not. I don't Martians think they are. Look completely different. Do we know what Martians look like? I mean, if there's somebody I don't mind being in charge of this, Harriet Jones, I have a lot of faith in her. Take a look I feel good about it. The military. They're tracking a spaceship. It's big. It's How fast, does he have that on his computer? <laughs> have you seen them before? No. They look dope. Scary aliens. Translation software. Yes, sir. They, they could translate that? I don't know. That that black guy, him saying that's not what Martians look like. Sus. The TARDIS translates alien languages inside my head all the time, wherever I am. So oh, okay. why isn't it doing it now? Because you're not in the TARDIS. So no, must be the doctor. Oh. Like he's part of the circuit and he's, he's broken. He's just sick with something. Timey wimey wibbly wombly whatever it is. Oh come on, sweetheart. What do you need? Oh what is it you need? Tell me. Look at Jackie taking care of him. I don't suppose we've had a code nine. It's a no code nine. Doctor. Nothing yet. Oh would be a code ten Failing now that him. it's the tenth doctor. What about Torchwood? I know I'm not supposed to know about it, I realize that. Not even the United Nations knows. But if ever there was a need for Torchwood, it's now. I can't take responsibility. Oh, interesting. See to it. Get them ready. Okay, Torchwood is them. I didn't know what it was. I just knew it was an anagram for Doctor Who. To the Sycorax. They seem to be called Sycorax, not Martians. Sycorax. We own you. You will surrender or they will die. Sycorax strong, Sycorax mighty, Sycorax rock, as in the modern sense they rock. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> yeah, who's they? And talking about their minerals and stuff. Are they? T they need to surrender. Are they talking about Rose and the Doctor? <laughs> or the minerals? <laughs> Jackie is not getting her security deposit back. The old Doctor, the proper Doctor, he'd wake up. He'd you save don't us. know that. You don't- you've never seen him regenerate! What is that? What are you doing? What was that? What are you holding on to? What was that other thing on the other was side? That a reply? I don't know. It looked like some sort of energy or static? Almost like someone casting a spell. Maybe it's oh. a different form of language, mm. some sort of ideogram or pictogram. Mm. What the mm. hell? Let them pass! Where are they going? Yeah, like, let's figure this out. Let's see where everyone's going. And why only certain people? Patrick, listen to mommy. You come back inside that. And you dump them. You come back in. Not... Oh my god, how scary for her. As far as I can tell, they're ready for any sort of high-rise building. On Christmas Day. Of all the days. They're not going up to get, like, beamed up, right? They're going right up to the edge. They're gonna jump. They're all gonna jump. Sally, stop it. I don't think so. Would the aliens make them do that? What do we do? Nothing. There's no one to save us. Not anymore. Maybe go back and find the doctor and wake him up? Sally Jacobs. Blood group A positive. Who else walked out? Luke Parsons. Luke Parsons. A positive. What is up with A positive people? It's my fault. Why? One. It's got one of those plaques identifying the human race. Uh, a message to the stars. I put on maps and music and samples. There's wheat seeds and water and, oh. and blood. A positive. Through that. They control the blood. That's crazy. But I have one request. Doctor, if you're out there, we need you. <laughs> I don't know what to do. 
if anyone knows the doctor, if anyone can find him. Wake him up, Rose. Please, doctor, help us. <sighs> Wake up! You're sleeping on your first full day of work, David Tennant. Wake up! I know, baby. He's still right there. Oh my oh god. Uh, oh! Sonic Wave! It's the spaceship! It's hit the atmosphere! Oh god, I never thought about that. That, like, a spaceship actually coming through the atmosphere might make a noise like that. But you'd be coming in at really fast speed, right? Hmm. Yeah. That is a wild looking ship. Oh, <laughs> Big Ben, it's being reconstructed. That's nice. Probably gonna get destroyed again. Come aboard. I mean, well, I might I die, but I'd still take the opportunity, and I think. What's happening? They're beaming you up! And it's called a teleport. Ha! Dope! I mean, I'm all about, like, first contact. <laughs> I guess it technically wouldn't be first contact. But, first time in an alien spaceship. Absolutely. Hey, bro. It's a helmet. They might be like us. I don't know. Nope. Nope. Mm-mm. Oh, no. Uh-uh. Yep. Looks better than the Slitheen. I don't think that, that that that's hard to beat, though. <laughs> we are like children. Children who need compassion. I beg of you now. Show that compassion. He doesn't look very compassionate. Nope! Didn't think so. That they just killed him? Even your species must have articles of war forbidden- Oh, later. But that guy knew what a Martian looked like. I, I wanted more of that. More of that story. Harriet Jones, Prime Minister. I love you, Harriet. If I do surrender, how would that be better? One half is sold into slavery. Or one third dies. So got you. Your choice. Ooh, tough decision, Harriet. Hopefully you don't have to make it. I mean, hopefully like the doctor wakes up and is like, Robert, how you doing, Sycorax? Nice to nice to see you. It's been a while. And they're like, Oh, this is the planet that you were gonna be on? Our bad, we're out of here. It's not going to, but Right, here we go. Nice cup of tea. Oh, mm, a solution to everything. Now stop your moaning. I'll get the rest of the food. Oh, please don't let something happen to Jackie tea. when she goes out there. Like we're having a picnic while the world comes to an end. It's very British. <laughs> very British. Oh! Rose? Jackie! Oh! You know that's not what happens when the TARDIS travels. She didn't leave you, they took her. I don't think that makes it any better. I don't want her to feel abandoned. Where is she? Oh, goodness, girl, don't go outside. Does anyone ever, like, look outside of the TARDIS, go, is it clear? No? Okay. I'm gonna go back inside. Okay, Doctor, wake up! Mr. Tennant, wake up! Uh, is that gonna short circuit something? Either that's good or bad. It's not nothing. According to Article 15 of the Shadow Proclamation, I command you to leave this world with all the authority of. The Slovene Parliament of Rexacorocophalopatorius and um, the Gal Confederacy 
as uh, sanctioned by the mighty Jagrabess and oh, the, she's the bringing up everybody. Ooh, that's. Now leave this planet in peace. I don't know if I invoke the Dalek name. Uh, I think they're laughing at you, not with you. You are very, very funny. Sure, guy. And now you're going to die. Oh, well, shoot. Then your world then your will, world be will be gutted. gutted. How did she just understand that? that? Hold on, that's English. How did they... You're talking English. Yeah. You're talking English. Speaking English. I speak only Sigurak I don't think so. It's being translated. Inside the box. It's working. Shmears. Where's our boy? Oh, Did you miss in me? your bathrobe. Okay. Okay. Oh, just well. Get the star. Now you just wait. I'm busy. <laughs> Mickey, hello. Ricky. Tea. That's all I needed. Good cup of tea. Superheated infusion of free radicals and tannin, just the thing for heating the synapses. Oh my god. It's very British. Am I ginger? No. No, you just sort of brown. I wanted to be ginger. I, be I, ginger. I, I like did the gingers. Fell how good you were. You gave up on me. Oh, that's rude. That's all man I am now. Am I rude? Rude and not ginger. <laughs> I demand to know who you are. I don't know. <laughs> I literally do not know who I am. It's all untested. Am I funny? Am I sarcastic? We're gonna find out. Right-handed, left-handed, a gambler, a fighter, a coward, a traitor, a liar, a nervous wreck. I mean, judging by the evidence, I've certainly got a goal. And how am I gonna react when I see this? A great big threatening button. Push it! Oh wait, don't push it. People jump. And I just want to do this. Ah! Oh, was he able to like control them and like let them out? Let that let them go? Get away from the edge. Yeah, imagine like opening your eyes and all of a sudden being on the edge of a building. Consider their potential. From the day they arrive on the planet and blinking step into the sun. <laughs> There is more to see than can ever be seen. And more to do than can ever be do. done. No, hold on. <laughs> Sorry, what's the Lion King? But it most certainly is. <laughs> so, you accept my challenge? Or are you just a Krana Kumpel Casa Crisalva? Wow, I don't know what he said, but it was mean. For the planet. For the planet. <laughs> oh yeah, that helps. I wouldn't have thought that otherwise, thanks. <laughs> you got this, buddy. Come on. You're just rusty. You've been sleeping the whole episode. A bit of fresh air. Oh, I totally thought they were space. I totally forgot that they were in the atmosphere. <gasps> It's like Luke Skywalker. I'm still within the first 15 hours of my regeneration cycle, which means I've got just enough residual cellular energy to do this. And if you're an American, you throw up one of these. Which <laughs> doesn't look Time that Lord. great. <laughs> Time Lord. Oh, so I'm still a the doctor then? Me. You want to know the best bit? <laughs> it's, it's a fighting hand. <laughs> Come on, Doc. I don't like calling you that quite yet. You gonna run him through? Did you just kill him? Leave this planet and never return. <sighs> What'd you say? Yes. Swear on the blood of your species. Okay. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah. yeah, go on. Bye bye. Well, thanks for that. Cheers, big fella. Bravo! That says it all. Bravo! Ah. 
Oh, Bravo. Very Arthur Dent. Now, there was a nice man. Very Arthur Dent. <laughs> oh, so he can't keep his word, huh? No second chances. I'm that sort of a man. I like it. I dig it. Uh, and way to throw that Satsuma. I don't know what a Satsuma is. Looked like a little orange to me. When you talk of the earth, then make sure that you tell them this. Mm-hmm. It is defended. Okay, it didn't take very long for me to like him. <laughs> I know it's still the same guy. Every day you're sending out probes, messages, and signals. This planet's so noisy. You're getting noticed more and more. You better get used to it. I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing. We have to explore. Oh my god, it's a bleeding prime minister! Come here, you. Oh, stop! Jackie hugging the dog. Look at them! It's a message from Torchwood. They say they're ready. Too late. Tell them to fire. Wait. We're blowing up that spaceship? We're, we're killing the Sycorax ship? Oh, I don't know if we needed to do that. I think we won. Boy. That was murder. That was defense. They were they were leaving. I could bring down your government with a single word. But I don't think you're quite capable of that. No, you're right. Not a single word. Just six. I don't think so. Six words. Stop it. Six. What are those six words? Don't you think she looks tired? Ugh. Were those the six words? Doctor, what did you, what was that? What did he say? What did you say, Doctor? Doctor! Oh, Harriet. I'm sorry. I'm very torn about what just happened. I get where she's coming from, but like they were leaving. Oh my. Oh, he's not gonna wear the leather jacket anymore. Oh, that's a choice. Uh, a trench coat with a big Victorian collar. Okay. <laughs> oh, stop. The guy, they were like, you know what we're gonna do? Oh my, is this on a TARDIS? Is this a closet on the TARDIS? Like, why don't we make him sexy? Just put him in a suit with a trench coat. If I were a doctor, I'd be wearing sweatpants all the time. Look, there is nothing wrong with my health. I don't know where these stories are coming from. And a vote of no confidence is completely unjustified. Oh, no. Oh, Just what's going on outside? <laughs> Don't they have enough of like, let's go look outside? It's just snow. Okay. Whew. It's like, just look up like it's a, another spaceship. It's the spaceship breaking up in the atmosphere. This isn't snow, it's ash. Oh, oh well. That's intense. Back to the TARDIS. Same old life. But on your own. Why don't you want to come? Well, yeah. Do you though? Yeah. Well, I just thought because I changed. Yeah, I, I thought because you changed, you might not want me anymore. Oh, I'd love you to come. Mm. Okay. You're never gonna stay, are you? No, Mickey. And it is gonna be fantastic. Fantastic. And he still gives me the creeps. <laughs> so, where are we gonna go first? Um, that way. No, hold on. Why don't we know what happened to Barcelona? 
that way. That way. Hmm? Yeah, that way. <laughs> Stop! Oh god, I didn't expect it to jump into like, hey, on season one of blah 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 blah. Holy crap, okay. <sighs> okay. Um. Okay, all right, okay. <sighs> I didn't like it at first, and I'm glad actually, because I was like making fun of the fact that David Tennant like wasn't awake the entire episode. Um, let me just there. <laughs> I don't I don't know if it looked that way the entire time, but I was just kind of like, why is there so much space above my head? Um, I don't know if like it was it was really smart to have actually David Tennant not be present for the first half of the episode because it wasn't like you're being hit over the head with a mallet. Like this is the new doctor and you must accept him. I definitely feel like um, I felt like Rose. Um, not only in the special that they had, but like, you know, just how it was like, that's not my doctor and how everyone's like, that's not my doctor. And that's how I feel. And I still miss my doctor. I still miss Christopher, but I do like David. Um, I'm not at like, I love him and it's going to be weird. Um, but like, he's got a good vibe, you know, still like has a bit of cheese and silliness to him, but a fierceness, um, saying that he'll defend earth it is defended. I'm, I'm, I'm fairly disappointed in Harriet Jones. I understand. Okay, first of all, it was great to see that she's prime minister um, of the golden age. Like, we, we knew this was going to happen because the doctor had told us it was going to happen. Um, like, I love that, like, she, she put out a plea that she was calling to the doctor, like, please help us, please help us. But, you know, if he hadn't said, like, you know, like, like, the universe is curious, it knows about you, you're sending out probes, you've called attention to yourselves. I don't want to say it was fear mongering, but it was a little bit in the sense that, like, it made her feel like she had to defend the planet, that she had to do something. And I didn't know what Torchwood was. I certainly still don't, but I got a clue that they are a defense against aliens from other planets on Earth. That's what I'm getting. So I guess that's my introduction to Torchwood, besides Jack. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, I don't blame her. Do I think it was necessary? No. I think we established dominance with the Doctor. I think we had established that Earth is defended. And that there's somebody very powerful there that will protect them and help them. And uh, that they are a fierce race. Um, but I will say that, again, I don't blame her. It's funny because the, let's see, which one was it? Boomtown just went up on uh, YouTube today. And a lot of people were saying, like, you know, like, um, a lot of co countries don't, is it extradite or whatever it is? I don't even know. I my brain's kind of all over the place, but that, like, if somebody is being sent back to their country, um, and it's a country that has the death penalty, and that person has been tried under uh, a jury with and, and judged by a group of their peers and has been sentenced to death, that they will not let them go back to that country. And it was about the Slovene, and I was like, well, the Sl like, was it blonde? Tried to blow up the damn planet twice wearing somebody else's skin i think that goes beyond british american like the prison you know death penalty culture it was another alien taking another alien back to their planet to have justice served and i've like found myself having to defend myself in the comments kind of like saying like the doctor wasn't doing that because he's a British citizen. He was doing that because it was the right thing to do because she was tried. I would think the assumption is, is that she was found guilty and sentenced to death because of crimes, right? I don't think that that's our job to determine how justice is served, but that's just me. But... I am kind of like still like I, I don't I don't think that we needed to blow up that ship necessarily. I think we got the point across. And I know a lot of people are like, well, you're an American. You believe in the death penalty. I don't. Actually, I don't. 
I don't think it's my job to interfere with it, um, but I, I definitely do not believe in the death penalty. I uh, believe me, there's plenty of people that I'm just like, yeah, let them rot. Give them 40, 50 years, like 80 years if they need to, um, depending on like what their crime was for sure. But, you know, like I, I'm definitely not somebody who thinks that death is justice necessarily. And I don't think that that was necessarily what happened here either. I feel like the point was made and that Harriet didn't need to do that. I know why she did it and I understand why. I just don't agree with it. I don't. Um, and him saying, you look tired. <laughs> <laughs> Given the fact that right now we are having a presidential election, if you're watching this, it is uh, still July 31st of uh, 2024, um, and we have a female candidate up for uh, uh, the Democratic nomination, and it's funny all the things that they're throwing at her that is just like... Like, well, she's she's not black. She's not black enough. She's too black. She's this, she's that. Oh, now she's Indian. Oh, she can choose to be black. And it's like really interesting how women are attacked by, you look tired. Or like, like they don't like her laugh, <laughs> which to me, it's like, she is a silly goose and I love her. Um, that might be too much for the channel. Like, I don't want to make it political, but I do find that it's really, really easy to say one thing to have like people attack a woman. So I kind of don't like that he said it. Um, but I, 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 I feel like, <sighs> I feel like he did everything that he could to make the situation the best that he could. And it really would have worked out in our favor had we not interfered and blown up the ship. Now, I don't know. There's repercussions for everything because we saw repercussions from the last season where the doctor like was just like, well, the Slovene are gone later, you know, or like, you know, we, we left station, you know, whatever it was. I would keep wanting to say 500 because it was the 500th floor, but I think it was station five. Um, you know, like we, we left it and we're good. And then like a hundred years later, the Daleks are like, you know, running things. And so it's like, there's, there's always something that happens. There's always consequences to the things that we do. And I think there's going to be consequences to Harriet blowing up that spaceship. I'm not going to pretend that there's not. Um, Mickey's still holding on. Like he can love and care about Rose, but he needs to move on. He really is. And he needs to say it to her. Like Rose, I love you. I care about you. I'm moving on with my life. If I hear the TARDIS, I will come running because I care about you and I love you. And I find the TARDIS amazing and the doctor and all of this just so wild and crazy. And I'm so excited to see you every time, but I'm moving on. My heart needs to go somewhere else. And, and poor Jackie, at least Jackie has a boyfriend. Rose is just like, Howard. And I was like, let your mom have a boyfriend. Come on. You know, so like, um, Rose kind of expecting everything to stay the same when she comes back. I don't, I think that's her naivety of her age. Um, but I, I, I do, I, I want Mickey to move on and I want Jackie to have somebody. And it's really interesting how she was like talking to her friend Bev about like, she just comes in and everything gets topsy turvy and everything's her way. And she just trashes the place, you know, like, like you can't do that to somebody that every time you come in, like, you know, you just disturb their peace. Um, so, you know, Rose just has to find a better way, I think, of conducting herself and doing things and maybe making a promise to show up like at a certain date or a certain time, like every year on Christmas Eve, I'm coming home, mom. Don't you worry. I will be here. I don't know. But I will say with David Tennant, it is very apparent that it's a different person as it should, because it is a different person. And it is a different interpretation of what the doctor is with this new person. Uh, different style, different taste, different look. Um, he has hair. He's not a ginger, which apparently was very upsetting. I mean, uh, as a girl, I can change my hair color to whatever I want. So I'm like, well, just change your hair if you don't like it. We can dye that thing. It's fine. Um, but, you know, like, like it's, it's not just Rose getting used to a new doctor. It's also him getting used to who he is now and, 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 and who this person is supposed to be. And cause he's like, I don't even know who I am. And uh, I think that that's great because we're on a journey of discovering who this person is. Like, although he's the same, he's different and we have to get to know him as this different person. So I'm not against David Tennant. I, I actually very much like him in the first episode. 
Um, it wasn't like he was trying to do an impersonation of Christopher. He was very much himself, but he still had that like silly, cheesy quality. But he also had that fierceness. He also had like that intelligence. He had that confidence that I love in the Doctor. So um, I'm I'm very much I'm okay. I am okay. Um, I'm I think I think I'm gonna like him. Um, whether or not I'm going to love him nearly as much as I love Christopher Eccleston is, uh, TBD, but I think there's a lot of seasons with him. So it's kind of like, uh, get used to it, sister, or, you know, GTOF, get the, get the, G GTFO, <laughs> whatever. I've had a full glass of wine almost now I've had a full glass of wine. The only reason why I'm drinking this is because I have to get through it. So it doesn't go bad. <laughs> uh, it's who wednesday over at my house but guys if you want to watch the full length reaction of this episode it will be available on patreon uh, and up to two episodes early but in the meantime like subscribe and leave a comment down below first of all if you started with the ninth doctor how did you feel about the tenth was it hard for you or did you start here because a lot of people started with tenet a lot of people started with David Tennant. I don't know if they started with this episode per se, um, but uh, I, I do think that like if you were to start with him, he's very charming. He's young. He's incredibly good looking. He's handsome. He carries himself well. A uh, great actor. He portrayed like 50 different emotions in, in like the course of the half hour that he was awake. <laughs> like, <laughs> Which is saying something because he was asleep most of the episode. Um, and, you know, like, does T really have that strong of a power? Does it really, like, when 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 you wake up in the morning, I know coffee does it for me. <laughs> so I guess the answer is yes. The power of T. Saving Earth since whatever year this was. <laughs> 2005? <laughs> but I'm really excited to kind of figure out who David Tennant is in this role what it looks like um because i feel like i feel like rose might still have trouble with it um not necessarily trouble with it but it might just be like she cared and she loved you know christopher's doctor i loved christopher um so she might struggle with it every now and then i i highly doubt that she'd just be like well this is the new guy all right let's go um but you know like uh jackie and and mickey giving him a big hug and everything and like like what a difference that relationship was you know to the doctor and her like asking him like what can i uh, how can i help you my love how, how can i help you and like aspirin this that the other thing i'm like just let him talk but like you know it's like she was very motherly to him um so i don't know if it's just necessarily a different look because now he looks younger so she treats him that way because like i can't imagine christopher being babied by jackie whatsoever so uh it's it's interesting those relationships but i'm really looking forward to starting season two so guys come back here for season two uh, i will be minus the rosé because this does not need to be had during the week uh but <laughs> i am looking forward to starting season one so guys in the meantime i'll see ya